Today we're going to upload an agenda to the Granicus system for use on the iPads. In order to do so, we must have a completed agenda and the event must have been set up in Granicus prior to uploading the agenda. So to begin with, I have an agenda in Word uh, for e &L, and I'm going to use this agenda as my example. So I open the agenda in Word and then I select the numbered items from the agenda that I wish to include in my Granicus agenda. So I highlight the numbered items 1 through 16, right click, select copy. I'm then going to open Notepad and you'll find Notepad under the All Programs Accessories folder and Notepad is listed right there. Open the Notepad application and I right click and paste into Notepad. All the items will come in without any formatting justified to the left side of the screen. You notice all items 1 through 16 as well as the sub items show up there. The reason we do this is to create a text file for upload to Granicus. So once we paste those items into Notepad, select File, Save As, and save to a location where you can easily find the agenda for future use. So I'm going to call this ENL 6314 and click Save. Okay, now that I've done that I can close Notepad, I can minimize Word, and then I'm going to open a web browser. In this case I'm using Chrome. You can use either Chrome or Internet Explorer. And once open, type into the or into the address bar sock.granicus.com. And that will bring in a bring up a login screen for Granicus. I'm already logged in and, and for the sake of brevity, I'm going to simply presume you know how to uh, use a login screen. So then once logged in, you'll see in the home window in the upper right a listing of upcoming events. Your event should be listed here, the one you're adding the agenda to. Click the Actions button, select Edit Event. This will bring up the event under the Basic tab. There are a couple of items under the Basic tab we want to double check. So we're concerned with the second section here, description through address. Description should have the committee name. Keywords field should be the reason for the meeting. And it should be typed out reason for meeting, colon, and whether it's a regular or special meeting. Then under street address, this is a little strange, but the street address, the first two fields should be the address, the location of the meeting, the room and the place where the meeting is being held. In this case, it's being held in room 213 of the West Square building. Notice that the street address, including the city and state, are listed on the second line. Down below that, in the field labeled city, type the date that the, that the agenda was mailed. And for the state field, type in the office that created the agenda. And I'll show you why we do that in a moment. Once those items are in, you can click the Agenda sub-tab in the upper left, and it will bring up the Agenda window. And this should be blank, or if, if you're amending an agenda, it'll have a copy of the existing agenda in it. So then what I want to do is I want to load an agenda text file. I can select either the the blue link here or the orange button, load agenda text file. When I click that it'll bring up a load uh, event agenda dialog and I can choose the or select the choose file button and that will bring up a window where I can browse to the agenda I just created. And here's my agenda ENL 6314. I just highlight that and click open and you can see now next to the choose file button it shows the name of the file I just uploaded or just chose to upload. Then I have two choices replace existing agenda data or add to existing agenda data. In most cases you're going to be replacing either replacing an old agenda or in this case I'm replacing blank. So once I select that option I click the button load agenda text file and it will bring in the agenda that I had copied into Notepad. Notice the items 1 through 16 show up. Those items 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 that had sub items have a plus sign in front of them. And if I click the plus sign, you see the sub items under the agenda items. Now to view this, to see what it looks like uh, in its, in its uh, viewable form, I have to refresh this page. So I'm going to click the Agenda tab again in the upper left, and that will refresh the page for me. And when it does, 
I will have the option to view the agenda. So I click View Agenda, and that will bring up a copy of the agenda. And uh, I just want to verify that everything's right. And if you notice down below, then Date Notice Mailed shows up with the date I had typed into the City field on the Event Basics tab. And the Prepared By field is that that was in the State tab on the Basics under the Basics tab, in the State field under the Basics tab. So this agenda looks good. So I can close this, and I can minimize my browser. Oh, one other thing, make sure you change the, the publishing options to Publish Agenda using Assigned Template. And what that'll do is it makes the agenda available to the iPads. If the agenda is still in construction, you're still adding things to, uh, say you're adding documents to the agenda, you don't want it published, leave it as do not published, do not publish agenda, but make sure prior to the meeting you change it to publish agenda data using the assigned template and that will make it available to the iPads. That's all there is to it. At this point uh, the agenda is out there. The next step will be to add documents to the agenda which we'll do in, a, in another training video.